Hello friends, this video on crop production and management part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the next activity for soil preparation is watering. The name itself is quite simple. It is nothing but giving water to the field to make the dry soil wet before plowing. Now please note that the process of watering takes place before plowing. And it is not necessary that every time before plow plowing the field needs to be watered. But it is basically done to make the process of plowing little easier. That's because if the soil is very much dry in that case plowing might become a little difficult because uh, like so far what i have told you is uh, the example of some sharp object with which you can dig and that is plowing but there are other uh, devices as well which helps in the process of plowing for example in fact a tractor also helps in plowing the field so that is an automated process but whether it is done manually or it is done through tra tractor, if the soil is dry, in that case, plowing is not impossible, but it is difficult. So to make the process uh, easier, what we do is before plowing, we water the field so that the soil becomes little wet. So plowing becomes easier. So if you ask me, can't we plow a dry field? Yes, we can plow a dry field. It is possible, but it is difficult because you can yourself imagine that if the soil is very hard, at the same time it is completely dry. In that case, it is very difficult to dig inside and then loosen the soil. So that means weighting the soil helps in plowing. So please remember that watering, if it takes place, it happens before plowing. So with tractor also we do plowing because it makes the entire process easier. So we will talk about the equipments which we utilize for soil preparation. The next process is puddling. What is puddling? So it is breaking down big crumbs of soil into smaller pieces after plowing. Now once you have plowed the field, that means once you have loosened the soil, you will observe that there are certain pieces of soil which are like quite bigger pieces of soil. So they have formed some uh, ball kind of a structure. Some of them are very big pieces, whereas some are quite small. Now, the bigger pieces also, we break them into uh, a dust kind of a thing. So we, we do not want big crumbs of soil. So we break them into smaller pieces. And this process is called puddling. So how this helps? Why do we break the bigger pieces of soil into smaller pieces? Because the some of the advantages are, one is, so one advantage of doing this is it reduces the percolation loss. Now the question is what is percolation loss? So percolation is nothing but the process of a liquid passing through a filter. Now if you look at the soil particles, so the soil particles are porous. So they allow water to pass through it. Now if one uh, crumb of soil is that big, what will happen? Water will but it will get stuck within it right so the process of percolation that is liquid passing through a filter so that process increases if the soil pieces are bigger so if we reduce the soil pieces into smaller pieces what is what will happen is this percolation loss will be reduced that means not a lot of liquid will just keep on passing through the soil so that will not happen so that is one advantage the next advantage is that it will reduce permeability so what is permeability i hope you would have heard of permeability before if not just know it now it is the rate of flow of water through a porous material as i said soil particles are porous in nature so water tends to flow through them quite fast. Water tends to pass through them. So for bigger crumbs of soil again, like if, if you talk about bigger crumbs, it is going to be something like this. Like, like say if your soil is made up of some three, four bigger crumbs of soil, what will happen? Water will quickly pass through these three pieces. But instead of this, if you have a lot of small, small soil particles, it will take more time for water to pass through these. So therefore the 
permeability will also reduce now if the permeability and percolation loss reduces what will happen more and more water could be retained on the soil and that water can be utilized by the plant for its growth so the more permeable the soil is the greater is the seepage now we do not want seepage to happen that water should seep through the soil and it should go elsewhere so that is not desirable so we do not want the permeability to be more and permeability is something which is directly proportional to the particle size so if the particle size is more permeability is more if permeability is more seepage is more so these are the things which are directly proportional to each other but particle size is more that would mean that permeability will be more and if permeability is more that means seepage will be more now do we want seepage of water through the soil no we do not want that so in that case we will have to reduce the particle size and that is why we break down bigger pieces of uh, bigger crumbs of soil into smaller pieces so that these two advantages can take place so now the last process that is leveling what is leveling leveling means to level something to bring something into a consistent shape and to a consistent level so flattening of the soil after puddling now initially what we did we loosened the soil so the upper surface of the soil was all haphazard after that what we did puddling that is we broke down bigger pieces into smaller pieces now what we want to do is the upper surface should be smooth and flat so this is known as leveling and it is done at the end of soil preparation so leveling is generally done with a leveler now see all these processes can be done manually as well for example if you do if you are doing it in your garden maybe you can just do it with your hand or maybe you can do it with some instrument uh, with some device which has a flat surface and you can just level the soil but when you are doing it on a field which has thousands of plants doing it manually is going to be a tedious job and it will also consume a lot of time so there we make use of equipment so we have an equipment called leveler so here in the picture you can see how a leveler looks like so here you see this surface or this surface is quite smooth so what happens is when you push it in this direction this keeps on rotating and the smooth surface will move on the soil so all the rough surface of the soil will get smoothened and flattened so that is how leveling takes place thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again